With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Uniform thin rods, each of length L and mass M are joined as shown in figure. Find the distance of center of mass the system from point O. Okay, so two uniform thin rods are joined like this way. Clear? So first we will draw. So this is our vertical rod. Okay, and this is our sorry this is our horizontal rod and this is our vertical rod okay this is our horizontal rod and this is our vertical rod okay so each rod is having total length l and mass m the vertical rod is also having total length m and o is the origin we have to consider this point o as the origin so now we can consider the horizontal rod at as x axis and the vertical rod as y axis okay this is the horizontal rod this is the vertical rod uh, x axis y axis and o is the origin clear now we know for the uniform rod the center of mass is placed where at the midpoint by symmetry so for the vertical rod for the vertical rod where the center of mass is placed the center of mass is placed at the center at the midpoint of this vertical rod so center of mass so center of mass will be placed at l by 2 distance from the origin okay by symmetry we will write it by symmetry center of mass center of mass is placed at midpoint of the rod okay uniform rod hmm. so simply we can say for the horizontal rod at origin at origin the center of mass will be placed at origin okay <clears throat> now see this is also l by 2 distance that is for the x1 okay now see we have to find out the distance of center of mass the system from point o clear so now for x axis x coordinate of the center of mass the x coordinate of the center of mass will be zero why because we can see that o is the origin and also for the horizontal rod the center of mass is also at the origin so when the center of mass is coinciding the origin then it will be zero xcm will be zero because for the vertical rod and also for the horizontal rod both the rods are, has been placed at o okay see at point o the center of mass is placed right so the x coordinate will be zero clear and for the vertical rod at point origin so cm the axis is passing through the center of mass right so it will be zero so xm will be zero now ycm according to ycm what is the formula m1 y1 plus m2 y2 by m1 plus m2 so m1 m2 are the two masses 
which is equal to m m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m and y1 y2 are the position coordinate of the center of mass of horizontal rod and vertical rod respectively and b center of mass ycm is the position y co coordinate okay y coordinate of the center of mass of this system okay and y1 y2 are the individual position coordinate of the center of mass of these two dots clear so now what will be the value of y1 y1 is for horizontal rod it will be zero because it is passing through the origin so for x coordinate it is also zero for y coordinate it is also zero because the center of mass is at zero comma zero so x coordinate is also zero x coordinate is also zero clear and for the center of mass the position coordinate is 0 comma l by 2 okay 0 comma l by 2 for the vertical rod clear so m1 y1 y1 will be 0 and y2 will be l by 2 okay so 0 m l by 2 by m plus m so it is coming l by 4 okay so now the position coordinate of the center of mass is 0 comma l by 4 so now we have to choose the right option so the right option okay so this question is not containing any option okay so it's a descriptive question so we will say the distance from the origin will be l by 2 this is the answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today